Hey friends, Tara B here, and I want to give you a tip on how to connect with people on LinkedIn in messaging, even when you're not connected to them. So here's the first thing that you need to do. Um, when we get on the screen, I'm going to show you this. I'll be sharing my screen with you, but just make sure that you have an idea of who are the types of people that you're looking for. And especially for those of you who are booking gigs, you probably want to look for people like an event planner or an event coordinator, because that's how you're going to get in with those events and the entertainment that happens, especially within businesses. So let me share my screen with you and then I'll show you how to do it. All right, friends, so here we are and we are on LinkedIn and in LinkedIn, I just want to point out first that I put up here looking for an event planner. So that's how I even got to this page. And when I put that in, if you notice at the top, these are some of the people that came up. Now it says there's second connection. So obviously I'm not connected to them. But if I click on this first lady, um, if you'll notice, it has message available to me. Now I can connect with her too, but I can message her and you notice that it's not locked at all. So I want to just click on that and I could write her a subject, a full message. I could write it as long as I needed to, you know, kind of give her the script that I might use for other places for booking. But the point is I can message her. Now, why can I do that with her? even though I'm not connected to her. Well, there's something that is called open profile and it's on premium. So when people are on premium, now if you're on premium, you can connect really with anybody. But even when you're not, if the person who is on premium has what's called this open profile and they have enabled this, then you can message them. So in this case, Jen has enabled this open profile and so that's why you're able to do a message to her so that's a great way of doing that you could also connect with her if you want to do that but i find sometimes that to introduce yourself in a message is much more helpful now i want to go back we'll just try the second person and let's see so let's look at colleen here now, if you notice here, she's also a marketing event planner, but in her message part, she's got the little lock. Do you see that little lock on her message? So if I click on that, it'll say I need to retry premium free. So I can't connect with her because of that. I'd have to go back on premium. There is a way to get around it. And when you see the connect button, and this only, by the way, works on your laptop or your desktop. But if you see the connect button, this is what I connect. You'll notice it says you can add a note to personalize your invitation. So that's what I would click on. And then I would do the message. Now you only have 300 letters there, so it's pretty short, but you still have the ability to do and say something that they will get as a message. So you're not just sending a connect button, you know, hitting that and they have no clue who you are. You're getting to personalize it a little bit more. So take advantage of that. So those are the two ways that you can. Again, just look for in their message. If it has the little lock button, you'll know you'll have to go through the button connect. But if it doesn't have that locked button like we did with Jen, then you'll be able to send a message right away. Friends, the beautiful part of that is that on LinkedIn, that way you can actually connect with these people that might be a little bit harder to get a hold of. And sometimes it might be a third or fourth connection, or you may not have any people in between to reach out to. And that's why you can still directly connect with people and start from there. It's like doing cold calls, I know, but it can work. And I've had experience with that too, where I've reached out to people in that way and they have responded. Not all of them have, but some have. So try it and see where it takes you for booking a gig through LinkedIn. And friends, if you want more helps, please go to the link in the comments below. And I have a whole hub called the Booking Hub and you can find out more helps about booking there. I'd love for you to have that. And all you have to do is click on that link. And the other thing you can do if you like what you're hearing is just hit the subscribe button on this channel and I'll see you again here.